Okay, I'm going to look at a few cards. Uh, I just want to have a little peep into his life to see what's going on with regards to his situation. Sorry, uh, I like to uh, draw cards on video now because uh, I really don't want anyone thinking... No one has ever said it to me, but I don't want anyone thinking that I'm pulling cards when the video is not, um, you know, processing uh, because at the end of the day, I don't sugarcoat things and uh, I wouldn't want anyone to think that I was sugarcoating readings, so I don't do that. We'll probably pull up a few things regarding um, other aspects of your life. Uh, these cards have a habit of doing that. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I think you're going to hear something uh, from him. Uh, I have a feeling uh, uh, he's been a little bit, uh, I want to choose the correct word, uh, naive. Uh, I think he really needs to, by staying in his situation, I think he's making matters worse and uh, I think he's going to contact you. Uh, he's probably, I think, still in contact you, contact with you, but I think he's going to want to uh, pursue a conversation about uh, the whole matter. And uh, I think, yeah, I think, I think he, he, he needs to be more realistic and I think that will happen. Uh, also, have a feeling that there's someone negative in his life and there's something that he wants to tell you and get off his chest um that could be her uh that you know comes across this way but i've i think he wants to tell you there's something that he he's been holding back for a long time that he wants to tell you and that will come out very soon uh, i think you found a solution uh and then we've got the sun which is a really good card about happiness and joy and uh, again, uh, I've got communication and I think this is more communication for making plans. So I think that's us jumping into the future. Uh, give me one moment. I'm going to read a few of these. Whoop. I'll definitely read that and that. I have a feeling that he's going through something with her uh, at a very uncomfortable period in his life. I think you're going to find out about this. Let's just get those ready as well. One second. Uh, okay, so hostilities, uh, so I think, yeah, that's what I'm sort of hinting at. I have a feeling that he's going through uh, a lot of turmoil with her. Um, and I really think he needs to just, you know, act, do it. So hopefully uh, with the, the cut that we that we did, uh, the cut and the cord ceremony, hopefully that will push him in the right direction. 
Uh, yeah, it's leaving them all tied up. So, but the good news is we've got walking away. Uh, and I always see this card as the woman walking away. It's not you. I think it's definitely her. So that's what we want. And appreciation. Door to value. I think these two cards are basically telling me, um, you know, that he, I think he, he's realized uh, that he has a second chance with you. And uh, he, you know, he knows that he has to get at this, right? So I think that's what's, you know, he, he really does value you and appreciate you. And then I've got the Magician in the Mirror. Again, that's a card pointing towards uh, the occult. Uh, when you have difficulty in life, you go to the occult for help. So, and Door to Spirit, again, same sort of card. And then I've got Healer of the Ages. Again, another really good card of you know, time healing things, and door to personal healing and happiness. So you have good cards, quite good cards there. So I'm going to read these ones. These are more uh, love related. So Sorry about this, I know it can be very boring. <laughs> Two, three, four, and five. Okay. Just one second because I've got to fall. Okay, so the first card out is uh, flirt. <laughs> so basically, um, extend your light, <clears throat> excuse me, extend your light hearted energy to others. And then I've got new love. So I think this is definitely uh, for him, you know, you and him. Uh, a new person has stirred romantic, stirred your romantic feelings. And then I've got this could be the one. Uh, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. And then getting to know each other. I know that you know each other, but at the end of the day, there's been a time, you know, a time gap. So I think it's important to get to know each other again. Uh, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And then I've got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And then I've got uh, free yourself. It's time to take, <coughs> excuse me, back control of your life. Uh, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Yeah, I don't think you're the type anyway that would isolate yourself. Uh, you know, it's good to, you know, it's, it's just good to be social and love yourself first. <clears throat> Your self-respect makes you the mo more romantically attractive. Well, it's a good card, <laughs> I always think. Love yourself first is really important. Before you can love anyone else, you do need to love yourself first. That's uh, the name of the game, really. Healing family issues. This is an interesting card. Okay. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Uh, could be your parents, could be his parents. You know, your feedback on that is welcome. 
Calling your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. I'm always preaching this, preaching about the meditation, visualization. See it in your mind and it will unfold. And then we go, oh, soulmate, okay. Yes, this is your soulmate. And I actually have a strong feeling about that too. Uh, I feel the two of you are very close. You have a very strong chemistry. And the next card is very, uh, very soon. Clearly decide what you want to do. Sorry. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Very soon. And then I've got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So I think the very soon card tells me I think you're on the cusp of something. So I really, 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 really want this to happen so quickly for you. <laughs> it's actually giving me anxiety. <laughs> uh, it's just nice when I think couples that are made for each other come, come you know, together together again because I do think that love can work second time around because you know you have a wiser head on much older shoulders and uh, I think that really makes the difference and you're not going to make the same mistakes that you made the both of you made before so there's a reason for everything in life and the two of you came full circle for a reason so yeah I have a really good feeling about it and uh, do keep in touch let me know how things are going uh but like I said, I have a good feeling about it, and I think things, um, I think things will, uh, you know, really work out for you. Uh, everyone deserves this, so you know, let me know, and uh, if you have any questions, queries, or anything, get in touch with me. And the email is a house of magic for everyone else. Uh, this working I that I, I've done in basically in two parts. <laughs> uh, that is a working that calls on different aspects uh what i'm trying to say is i mentioned it in the other part of the video the part one you're calling on the lust the lust aspect which is needed obviously a healthy you know relationship physically and the reconciliation that it was accounted for and um uh, the thought process of you know getting him to act that was all dealt with with the three guisha spirits so those are what I call layered workings. And then I I place it in the hands of the Holy Deaf for her blessing. And uh, these spells are the kind of spells that work for me. And, um, you know, I'm mixing, yes, I'm mixing a Mexican folk saint in with the Goetia spirits. But she doesn't mind. She's giving me the results. The Goetia gives me the results. So it works to me. It works for me, should I say. And, uh, yeah. So I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Have a good evening.